Hello YouTube and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to review the uh, Myops slider. I got this sent to me by the company. They reached out and asked me if I wanted to review one of their products and they offered to send me the slider for free in exchange for making this video. So now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let me show you what you get in the package. Now it actually comes in this nice case with the branding on top and if we open it up let's see what we get inside so there we have the actual slider and then we also get a shutter cable a micro usb charging cable and they've added a little quick user guide now for the actual slider let's take it out of the case go feel sturdy the mounting screw on top also got a nice mounting option on the bottom to put it on the tripod and then on this side I don't know if you could actually see it but there's the connections for the shutter cable for the charging cable and the on and off button to power on the slider so that's everything that uh, comes in the case now before heading out there's a couple of steps you want to go through first step one is charging the slider its internal battery you can use the supplied usb cable and just combine it with an adapter you have for one of your phone charges then the next step is actually to get out your phone and then you want to go to the play store and you want to look for a myops app and in this case you want to download the capsule 360 app from myops because that's the one that makes you control the slider so you download that on the app store okay so we got that installed now we open the app and then it's gonna search for a device now you want to turn on the slider with the on button on the side and it finds the slider okay select the slider connect to device connect and we've got the slider connected now it notifies for some new firmware click update and we're gonna need an account I forgot about that one okay and then when you have everything installed you're ready to go Okay, so I guess that this could work, right? So one of the things you want to have when you create a motion time-lapse with a slider like this, you want something in the foreground like this bench that can accentuate the camera movement that it makes on the slider. So now we're just going to set up our tripod, mount the slider on top, fit the tripod head onto the motor of the slider, so we can attach the camera and set everything up just like we want it. Then we're just gonna use the basic time-lapse function of the slider app, set everything up, hit start, and we're off. And then we get an end result that looks something like this. Now to show you the benefit of the use of a slider creating motion in this situation I'm also going to show you a little clip now where I didn't use a slider but just created a static time lapse Okay so with the time lapse video done it's time to head back home and try a different function of the slider the basic video one Okay, so we made it back home and now I want to try out the basic video function that the slider offers. 
I assume you could use it for some product video or even shooting some b-roll when you're doing solo filmmaking like I often do. Now in this case I want to do some product shots. I've got these letters set up right here that we are going to use. For our first shot we're going to use the slider to create a truck shot or a trucking shot. So we set the in and out point just like we did for the motion time lapse. And then when it's moved back to the starting point, we're just going to hit record on the camera and start the movement. And now you'll see the camera slowly moves from one side to the other side while recording the product. And the end result looks something like this. So the second one I want to quickly show you and I want to try is a bit of a hero shot in a product video. We're gonna do a dolly shot moving into the subject and we've set manual focus that when we reach the end point we get the product perfectly in focus and that will look something like this. Okay so time for some conclusions. I actually really enjoyed using the MyApp slider First of all, the app, it's very intuitive to use. So it was really easy setting up all the shots and getting them exactly as I wanted them. For the product shots, I really feel using a slider like this is great. It really gives consistency throughout all the shots and it's really easy to get them looking nice and smooth. For time-lapse photography or time-lapse videography, it's also great to have a slider the added motion to the shot really elevates it in my opinion so it's really awesome to use it for that as well and then lastly for the solo filmmaking like I do a lot on my YouTube channel it's really nice to be able to add motion to shots and then I don't mean the motion you can add in post by zooming in and then slowly like keyframing through some motion but you can actually create a different effect, a different kind of motion by using something in the foreground and then having the camera move past it. It really ups the quality, I think, ups the production level. So all in all, a great piece of equipment to add to your gear. Really enjoy using it. Hope you picked up something from this video. Hope I answered some of the questions you might have had. And if not, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. That's gonna be it for today and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.